Sunday morning. It's time for us to stop and get some local strawberries and avocados. Mm, Southern California. Best fruit. Get, get this thumb out of here. This is my strawberries. No, Who said you get any of those strawberries? I want one. Like one of these strawberries, you mean? One of these strawberries? So cruel. Look at the little fuzz on it. <laughs> Look at That is so nope. cruel. So cruel, right? Listen. Strawberries. been a long time in the making. Today is the day. Matt's away for a few hours today, so I'm going to take advantage of this time. It's a beautiful day. And I'm going to clear a little spot here and get these beds set up. The only thing I don't have with me today is uh, soil, uh, but I'm going to get the bed set up, weeded, lay our gopher wire down, and do as much prep as I can so when he gets home, can you remove thyself from in front of me? Thank you. Um, so when he comes home, it is just ready to throw some soil in and plant, which is quite honestly the most fun part about uh, any spring garden. And I love this dog. Oh, he's just such a good dog. So this is quite exciting. I Just being attacked by hairy beasts. Will everybody please leave me alone? Uh, all right, let's do it, Arliss. You ready to start digging? You just want to mess around, don't you? You just want to play, don't you? I got one bed set up and ready to go. And it was so much work. It's going to take a lot of soil, too. Uh, but it's a rather large bed and it's going to be gopher proof and uh, We're just set it ready to go Right Alice? We ready to go bud? Yeah Yeah, boy on top of the gopher wire. We're gonna put some cardboard It's gonna be a little weed blocker. We'll block some of the native weed and grasses from coming up to the bottom at least for a while in the beginning uh, And now on to bed number two. So we're going on day two. Got the cardboard in the box. I got some compost. I'm gonna use some native soil, mix it with the compost. Let's put some dirt in. Compost! Two beds down, ready to plant. And to think that we almost did the two foot high ones. I mean, it would be literally twice as much work. I'm glad we didn't do that. This is good. Uh, I'm excited for Matt to see it when he gets home. That's a wrap for this part of it. I'm gonna go shower. Wow, look at these beds. This is so impressive. You did this all by yourself? You surprised me to just come home and find these beds all up and ready to be planted in? We picked out just a few uh, plants to get you started. So you still get to go to the nursery and pick out other stuff too. Oh, my favorite. 
All right, so let's start with tomatoes because they're the kind of the biggest. We're gonna need to get something for these tomatoes to grow onto. These are peppers. We'll do peppers in there in a different bed. Herbs work nicely with tomatoes. So we'll put the herbs here. Some flowers in here, some wildflowers, some marigolds. We got our peppers here. That bed's pretty full. We could do like maybe another herb or so over there. Do I have to put these strawberries in or can I wait? We just dig a hole and put them in so that it stays moist. Like leave them in the pot. Leave them just in the pot. Like, yeah, so the bottoms stay moist. Yeah. I should have just finished the job and just planted everything before we got home. <laughs> Five tomato plants in here. It's a lot of tomato plants in this space, but I'm excited for them. What are you gonna do when the chickens jump up there and tear everything up? I'll run these chickens out of here. We haven't got to actually have a garden until now. So this is most wonderful. What do you got chickens? What do you got? What do you got, chickens? What do you got, chickens? What do you got, chickens? What do you got? What do you got, chickens? We found a little like small business herb shop, but they also have a lot of starter plants. So we're gonna get some fun starter plants for the garden that my husband prepped for me. The raised beds that are so fun. So we're gonna get a couple more things to choked. fill out the bed, fill out the garden bed. Yes. Yeah. We still have like half a bed. Um, you can look this honey. Eucalyptus honey? That doesn't go in a garden. Why does everyone keep calling me honey? <laughs> is it quite get as big though? Is no grown it. Will it get big like a squash? I okay. think it should get both. Uh, no, no, no. They grow up like a pepper kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, this can go in a bed without taking over the bed. No, yeah. Okay, so let's do an eggplant. So we got these nasturtiums crow is very excited about because you can eat the flowers. Yeah. And we'll put them in. And are these pollinators as well? This looks nice. Girls yeah. like it. No, get them out of here. They're eating my worms. They're not eating your worms. They're no. eating the seeds and the bugs. No, they're not. I'm watching. Them. Oh yeah, she's eating the worms. Get out of here. Those are my worms. You want eggs? Let them eat worms. They have an entire property of worms to eat. What's your logic here? Tell me, show me, your, or explain to me your, your map. Well, um the map of the, the garden yeah we got over here is our like pepper squash little situation we got bell pepper bell pepper eggplant some blue african basil some nasturtiums the kids were very happy about the edible flowers and the patty pan squash but i'm hoping that these uh, what's in between the Flowers and the squash. Over here? No, in this place right here. What's gonna go in here? Yeah. Mm, Nothing? Because this this patty pan squash is gonna be huge. And she says that they don't get that big. Blue, we had one. I know, but that's such huge. a waste. Nobody likes squash that much to take up a half. That's like half of the box. No. Yes. It's that corner right there. But these mystery, uh these are gonna grow. These flowers are gonna grow in here. These if, flowers if, get big. Like a buttercup. It's our garden. I'm gonna rake this up. Protector. Protector. 